What do you make of the market reaction? What is it in reaction to on the quarter? Well, look, the stock's run up a lot uh, lately, and um, they had a very strong quarter. The North American business, apparel business, was a, you know, a little softer than expected. And, as you, I mean, the gross margin missed by a fraction. However, um, the overall business, you know, is exceptionally strong. I think that the, you know, the stock's down 1 percent. I mean, it's still poking around its all-time highs. And, uh, you know, we really think that the, the, the long-term outlook here, uh, you know, looks exceptional. It's interesting also because uh, with all the controversy over the NBA in China, uh, we're still seeing strong sales of Nike overseas. It doesn't seem to have hurt the brand. Well, I mean, basketball is a nice part of their business, and, and no, it hasn't. I mean, look, at the end of the day, if you, know, if you have a 15-year-old kid, I don't think they're paying a whole lot of attention to all the stuff that we pay attention to anywhere in the world. Fair, fair point, uh, as Mike can probably attest to. But nonetheless, what's going to be the next catalyst then for Nike, considering it's at records, and the market seems to have a, high, a low threshold, though, for any kind of minor miss? Yeah, I mean, I think what's going on is, is that they, they, they raise their guidance from a top-line perspective pretty much the amount of the revenue beat. Um, but uh, they're doing, you know, their, their, their digital and all their direct businesses are growing exceptionally well in the high double, in, in the, you know, high double digit, you know, mid high double digit range. And uh, those, that business, it's harder to predict. So as we go into uh, really the, the, the third quarter has the NBA uh, uh, All-Star game uh, in uh, in Chicago, which will be a big deal, and they're they're going to go after that. So you'll probably see some activity there. Uh, also, you know, generating business around their direct uh, around their direct market, as well as when we get into the fourth quarter, we look at the European Championships and the Olympics, which go into the first quarter of fiscal 21. So there's a lot of things going on. I believe that's going to you know really continue to uh, accelerate their direct business, which runs higher margins which, um, you know, we think, you know, it's just harder for them to predict, but I think they're very confident that they have that in their back pocket. 